Part 1. S.O.S. Okay, so here's the issue. You and I are stumbling around a confounding world because we are too divided to see it clearly. I blame three things for this. Three patterns in how we relate to each other. They come from human nature, so we'll never be rid of them, boo! But we can totally hack them if we know what we're doing. So we're still the boss of them, yay! They can get the better of us if we let them. And we need to know how they work to stop them from warping, well, everything. The first pattern is about who we like to be around. There's no mystery to this. We like to be around people who are like us. People who share things in common with us. People who make us smile, keep us comfortable, and aren't getting us all mad or nervous. The second pattern is about who we don't like to be around. These folks are opposed to us in some way. They annoy us or stand against us or disagree on something that matters. We push off from them, and the distance feels good and right. The third pattern is about the things we say and hear, how we explain our worlds to each other, the signals that reach us and don't, and how we sink over time into a hole where our attitudes are reinforced instead of challenged, particularly about what those other people think. Split up into steps, the patterns go like this. One, we get together into groups. We'll call this sorting. Two, we push off against groups that seem opposed to us. We'll call this othering. Three, we sink deeper into our groups and our stories, where it's harder to hear anything else. We'll call this siloing. Now, I'm no fan of the mess these patterns are making, but I can't trash them outright. We humans are social creatures, and sorting, othering, and siloing give us comfort when things are crazy. We want affirmation. We want clear friends and enemies, who's with us and who's against us. Most of all, we want answers. Answers that let us move from one day to the next, knowing that no matter what's breaking the world today, we're going to be fine tomorrow. Or at least, we'll still be in good company. But there's just no question that sorting, othering, and siloing are an SOS, a call for help. They're blinding us to each other's perspectives, turning our neighbors, friends, and relatives into fools and monsters, and cranking up the volume way too high on what is already a cacophony of information that drowns out so much else. To put it as plainly as I can, sorting, othering, and siloing are steering us away from reality. It's nice to be comfortable in a scary time and certain in an unsure one, but at what cost? In part one, I'm going to tell you why these three patterns and how we relate to each other make it harder for us to see the world around us. I'll tell you why they're built-in features of our very social lives and how they can work against us, warping our gaze beyond our own limited perspective. We'll start at ground zero for human relations, a simple little house party. Music 